Who wants my dishwasher? <laughs> That's actually clean. You thought it was going to be full of mold. I did think it was going to be gross and nasty. Reverse psychology. Mm -hmm. Works around here. It does. Especially when you're in an alley. Alright, so we have a lot going on at the shop today. Sage is currently hanging artwork. I don't know, is this? I think so. I don't know, it looks a little crooked. <laughs> I think every time I walk by I'm going to tweak it. And every time I walk by, I'm just going to yeah. go like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alright, well that's one piece done. <laughs> yeah. oh, 20 an hour later. 20 minutes. <laughs> Alright, it's all yours. Thing. All yours. I was like, I'm, I if give up. If you have something you want me to process, I'll do it for you. Okay. Um, we also went to look at a new space last week. Really not a lot to do other than creating a space for you to film and list. Those are so good. We could too. probably use the material from the shipping table at the shop and build another shipping table. Yeah. Kind of exciting. Um, it's not what you're thinking. It's not a space for an antique store. Um, it is a space for e-commerce because I'm thinking what we might move in the direction of is moving the e-commerce um, side of our business out of this space and then turning this space into our antique store. Um, so as you guys know, when we purchased this place um, in 2020, our goal was to make it into a store. Um, but then COVID hit and everything shut down and we went 120% into e-commerce. Um, and we haven't really looked back. <laughs> the building filled up. That is what we have always focused on since then. Um, but then our goal has been to open a store uh, four years later. So I think that's the direction we're gonna go. We, uh, we're gonna be probably signing a lease at the end of this week um, and then moving all of the stuff in the back, the listing boxes, um, the inventory, um, all of the stuff for online out of this building. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot. Um, but anyway, uh, so today we've got a few projects happening. Um, Sage is hanging artwork on the walls to get it off the floor. Um, we're also going to be inventorying our coffee, setting up shelving, um, Quite a few things happening today, uh, but I feel like we're moving in a good direction. God, he's always on the phone. <laughs> Ooh, looky here. Look at that floor. That's frightening. <laughs> I better move those vases before they get knocked off. <laughs> Um, I'll just stick them in my car. Who wants my dishwasher? <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised that that's actually clean. You thought it was going to be full of mold. I did think it was going to be gross and nasty. Anyway, um... Curb alert. Yeah, now i got to go, uh... I think it worked. You can't say that word when I'm filming. I think we could shove those in a closet somewhere. Yeah, I think they're back for now. I just found this. That's like 25, 30 bucks. Just sitting on the stove. Now it's maybe sitting on the table. <laughs> I think once uh, we have vendors in here, well, people will put thing, down rugs well, and. Well, I was thinking about getting the floor stripped, like have them have the company come in and just like strip the floor, and then polish and wax it, and that should take. I all think that off. the tiles are missing there, aren't they? Or is that just schmutz? That's just schmutz. Ooh. Whatever, whatever cabinet they had there that leaked, like this was probably cleaning supplies. Gross. This looks like soap, essentially. So what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to put some cardboard down. Yeah. Just because I don't like the way it looks, and I'll put the shelves on top of the cardboard. That works. And I'll just use this. Are you sure those are the right shelves? These are the big ones. Okay. These boxes are bigger than all the other boxes. 
Perfect. So these are the these are the shelves like you have in your backpack room. Do you remember why I got the skinny shelves? Yes. You were gonna put those up somewhere. I don't remember why. Sage, do you remember why I got the skinny shelves? Mm-mm. No. I had a reason for it. Yeah, there was, and I don't but remember. But it was a week it was a week ago and I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> were you gonna maybe do like one and one? Or like I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, no, I'm just putting these up side by side. That's why we got those ones, but I ordered other ones that were a different size. They were more narrow. Oh, weren't you going to try to put them in, in that? Oh, yeah, we got more narrow ones to put them in the shipping area. Yeah. Remember, you told me I couldn't use the bookshelves because they were too wide. And then I was like, I have an idea. <laughs> well, these are wider. Fun sponge. Is it? We're sticking out by the dumpster and one of the junk guys driving by will take it. Probably works. I'm sure it does, but it's disgusting and I'm not cleaning it. Um, should we just put 50 bucks on it and see what happens? Or is it worth 50 bucks to us? Um, I mean, honestly, if you really... Need 50 bucks? I do. That'll that'll fund my Starbucks habit for a week. You have gift cards that <laughs> are at home that can be loaded in that you haven't loaded in yet. There's your Starbucks for like six months. Okay. Out to the dumpster. Yes, that would that would it, and it can just sit next to the dumpster because the junk guys will come by and they'll take it. Or somebody needing a stove. We could even put a tag on it that says works. Works free. Works yeah. free. Actually, works. Ten dollars, then they'll take it. If you put free on it, they won't it'll want it. Sit there. Okay. But if you put ten dollars, what on if we it, put? Steal please it. don't steal me. I did that already once with a bicycle. With a bicycle, I remember, and it was gone ten minutes later. It was yeah, that was good. Reverse psychology mm -hmm. works around here. It does, especially when you're in an alley. With the curmudgeons. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Do I need to get the door? Yeah, probably. Okay. I'll just think skinny thoughts. Oh, there we go. them better but I think that'll uh, that'll work somebody who needs them will come along and hopefully find them oh, very nice. oh you like the firefighter <laughs> all right so Sage and I have made an executive decision while Andrew went to go get the kids mostly it was me Sage is just along for the ride um, <laughs> I told her we have to get it done before Andrew gets back because otherwise he'll veto it. Um, we're gonna we're gonna move this um, cabinet air space over to use this uh, to put our microwave on. And um, then we have all this drawer space versus the leaning shelves that we have now that are just kind of um, bendy. You can see they're warped and stuff. So and um, we're gonna replace this unit with that <laughs> all my Mackenzie child's on top of the fridge <laughs> Twenty-three. <laughs> okay. That could probably go out. You think? I think we can use it maybe for like light stuff. Oh, 
if you want to, or yeah. if not, then you can throw it away. It doesn't matter. Maybe we could find a place in the back for it for um, like paper towels or something. Yeah. We had that little nook in the corner. Do you know what I'm talking about in the ladies' bathroom? Um, beside the coffee, where the vacuum is. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. But there is it too deep. Let me check. Um, where's the ruler? I need to take my shirt. This is the best tool we have in the shop. Just move this honker over here. Um, we decided if we need to cover up this. So we've selected this beautiful thing and we're gonna use it to patch the wall. <laughs> Make it look very nice. And now that we have it in place, Andrew can't veto the idea. So let's get it all set up. <laughs> yeah, quick before he quick comes. Quick before he comes back. <laughs> I, I think that's the one. We needed him. Yep, for sure. <laughs> Forget the shell art. <laughs> this wasn't the right vibe. Yeah, no. <laughs> We're better off with Abraham Lincoln. Ooh. Yeah. I don't think that's been cleaned since we uh, got the space. There's keys up here. Oh, I wonder what those go to. We should try them on various things until they fit. <laughs> Stick them over here for now. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Show that's, them. That's all you. That's all you. <laughs> so satisfying. Oh, my goodness. What do you think? So you cover the hole in the wall with the guy that got a hole blown in his head. I wasn't going to go there, but well, that's I an mean, interesting parallel that you drew right there. I mean, you know, it's historical fact. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> but how about the little, uh, the little shelf thing? What little shelf thing? The thing that we put there with the microwave. We replaced the leany shelves. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Was that, oh, that was the console that was up here. Yeah. I was wondering, because when I was pulling in, I saw Sage was just leaving, and I thought she was going to leave a little earlier, because she had asked a while ago to leave early today. We were having too much fun. Well, she's supposed to be spending time with her sister and her grandmother today. I know. She said she was having too much fun. I guess that makes me a good boss. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think I've convinced Andrew to hold off on building the shelves until we move into the new space in the next few weeks. Um, because then we'll have to build the shelves and then move the shelves to the new location. It just makes sense to build them there. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, well, in addition to fun things happening here around the shop, we have a flower garden tour happening on knickknacks this weekend, March 23rd and 24th. And I just so happen to be kicking it off on March 23rd, which is Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern. Um, a train is basically back to back to back to back sales, selling things of a certain theme. In this case, florals, blooms, flowers, those sort of things uh, for two days straight. It's gonna be really fun. And I have lots and lots of things that are in fact floral. So what I've decided is that I'm gonna pick about 12 items that I'm going to set to multi-day auction on knickknacks. So that means they're going to run, I'm thinking from Tuesday, which is today, um, until Sunday, the end of the week. Um, so we're going to gather up some items. I'm going to probably find a central place to like lay them all out. So that's what we're going to do next. Okay. So here are the floral items that I have so far. I think I'm going to have to do a little processing today because I know I acquired some on my trip to Ohio that have not been processed yet. Um, and if I am going to list them as multi-day auction, I need to start getting into that stuff today. 
So let's go see what we have in our boxes. Okay, so I recall picking this out for the floral train, this Majolica. And then also these amazing canisters. They are nesting. I think there's like a set of three in there, so I'm gonna get that label off real quick. Okay, I gathered up all of the floral things I could find. So if you can't be there for the live sale, um, I will have items running through the train listed as a multi-day auction. Um, let's see. So I'm thinking this could be multi-day auction. So I think for that, I'm going to put it over in this box. That will be multi-day auction. It's a beautiful acid etched uh, bohemian, I think, vase. I've had it for a while. Um, I love that piece. This is going to be in the live sale. I've been talking about that for a while. That cleaned up so nicely. I think we'll include that in the live sale. I actually just picked up another set of those too, uh, just the other day. That's live sale. Debating about the canisters, I feel like they could go in the live sale. With the blue vase. Stubby amber one. I really wanted to include some chintz. Um, I think I'll do that in multi day. This blown glass flower was one of Andrew's picks. Maybe this deco style plate. Then. English pitcher, Winkle, England. How many does that give us? Okay, well, I have a good portion of this photographed. Quite a few things. Um, there's a few more I kind of want to get done. Maybe some of this chintz and the teapot. I really wanted to get this Easter plate listed. I might, I might include that in the live sale. Easter opening. That is so cute, the little chicks. Um, anyway, I'm going to photograph some more stuff and we're probably going to get out of here.